welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do another book haul because my birthday just passed um, and I accumulated some books. A couple of them are gifts and the rest I kind of like bought myself throughout like the past few weeks as mini birthday presents. Um, so I kind of just wanted to share those with you guys today. Um, I have about eight books I believe so I kind of just want to jump right into this and keep this really short and simple. But before we start I just want to say thank you for always watching my videos if you are subscribed and if you're watching this and if you're not subscribed I really um, would like it if you subscribe to my channel and you liked this video and you go and check out some of my other videos because um, I really like doing this it's kind of fun um, but without further ado let's kind of just jump into what I have today I am going to start with a couple of birthday gifts that I received so the first one I actually received from one of my bosses at work um, and it is called The Marsh King's Daughter by Karen Dion. Um, I have never heard of this book before, but she told me that she saw this book and thought it would be a good idea if I kind of branched out of like what I normally read because she knows I normally read like romance and contemporary and historical fiction. So she thought reading a mystery thriller would kind of be a little bit different for me. And I just finished reading Layla by Colleen Hoover and I loved it. And it's also kind of like a mystery thriller. So I am really, really excited excited for this. Basically it follows this woman who is kind of living her life. She's living her perfect life but she is the product of a kidnapping. So her mother was abducted by her father and she was kind of the result of that kidnapping and she is finally away from him and he's in prison but he escapes and all hell breaks loose from there apparently. I'm just really excited to jump into this and I saw the rating on Goodreads and it's actually not bad at all so I am kind of interested in jumping into this I have never heard of it before but I believe it came out in 2018 I believe yeah I came no it came out in 2017 so I had not heard this at all so I'm really excited to kind of jump into a book that I have never heard of like I've never seen anybody talk about this so I'm very excited and thank you so much the next two books are from my grandfather specifically my wello and he got me two nonfiction books that he is very very excited for me to talk about and to read so the first one is about Elizabeth Blackwell this one in particular is entitled a pioneer work in opening the medical profession of women autobiography of the first woman in the US a to receive a degree in medicine and this follows Elizabeth Blackwell who is the first woman to ever receive a degree in medicine and she is kind of a pioneer obviously for women in the field of medicine and medical professionals so I'm very excited to kind of jump into this this is her own like autobiography she, she wrote this um, and I am really intrigued to learn more about this. I think this is something my mom would actually like too because she works in the medical field and I think she would really enjoy this as well. So I'm excited to read this. The second book that my Wello got me is one that I'm actually more excited for and it is entitled Ida B. the Queen by Michelle Duster. This book is all about Ida B. Wells. Ida B. Wells was an enslaved person in Mississippi back in I believe the 18, yeah, 1862 and she is just now receiving a lot of accolades and attention for all of the accomplishments that she has done throughout her life um, and this kind of is a biography about her life written by a descendant of her family line so that is really really interesting I'm really excited to kind of jump into this um, and it's just obviously a very beautiful cover and the inside like there are just so many beautiful beautiful like illustrations I want to say thank you to my Wello for getting both of me, but uh, for getting both of me. Thank you to my Wello for getting me both of these books. <laughs> now we are going to jump into all the books that I bought myself, starting with two books that I have here that finish off a series that I really, really enjoy. And it is a new adult series written by Jamie McGuire, and it's called the Maddox Brothers uh, series. Um, so I have Beautiful Burn and A Beautiful Funeral right here. These are the last two books in the series. I have read all of the other three books prior to this. I've even read the books previous to this series, um, Beautiful Disaster and Walking Disaster. So this is kind of the companion series. You don't have to read these in order, but like I suggest that you do. This is just a new adult series that follows Travis's brothers. If you've read Beautiful Disaster, you know Travis has multiple brothers um, and the Maddox Brothers series obviously follows his other four brothers and that's what these books are about so I kind of just picked up the last two so that way I can just finish off this series because I love it so much and I'm just very excited to have them and I got these off of Amazon um because I know Jamie McGuire she 
published the first book like with the publishing company and then the other four are self-published so you can't really get them in stores so i found them online on amazon and they were pretty decent prices so i recommend picking up the series because it is so good and if you're into new adult romance you will definitely enjoy these the next book i have here is one of my 2021 anticipated releases and it is written by the same author that wrote Sadie and that is The Project by Courtney Summers. This is the Barnes & Noble's exclusive edition. The original cover is black, this one is red, but nevertheless I'm very excited to jump into this. I loved Sadie with my whole heart. It's one of my favorite audiobooks. It's the first audiobook I ever listened to and it is so amazing. I highly recommend listening to that book as an audiobook. But this book follows two sisters, one of which I believe is trying to uncover and kind of expose this cult that she believes that her sister has been a part of and I'm just really interested in that concept because I think cults are really interesting to learn about. I always find it interesting that cult leaders are just very charismatic and they have this personality that is so magnetic that so many people follow them kind of like Jim Jones and Marshall Applewhite. So I'm really really excited to kind of jump into this and learn more about cult culture as well as like just this overall story. I am so so interested in reading this. I cannot wait. The next two books I have to show you are by the same author and are at actually the same edition. So I'm so so happy about that and I want to collect all of these authors books in these specific editions. But the first one I have here is Maya's Notebook by Isabel Allende. Isabel Allende is one of my favorite authors of all time. She writes beautiful magical realism and beautiful historical fiction novels. Her most famous novel is The House of the Spirits. Um, it is a modern classic and it is a staple in magical realism. If you love that genre as much as I do, you definitely need to read that book. And I'm so, so happy to have this book in my hands. It is so pretty. I love the different colored blues. The spine is gorgeous. It's just everything about it is just so pretty. And I'm so happy to have this edition. I got this one off of Amazon, but I know they sell other editions in Target and Walmart and stuff like that. So I definitely want to collect all of them. This book follows 19 year old Maya who lives with her grandmother and a man named Popo. And when Popo dies, she kind of spirals into a life of crime, drugs and alcohol. And in order to save her from making some of the biggest mistakes of her life, her grandmother sends her to Chile where she kind of goes on this journey of self-discovery and self-love and it just sounds so beautiful. It's different from what I've read from Isabel Allende before because I've read The House of the Spirits and I've read The Japanese Lover, both of which are historical fiction and one is like magical realism fantasy. So this is more of a just like a coming of age kind of novel and I'm so excited to dive into it. I will say like these pages in this edition are very thin like they're super super thin. They're super super thin because this is almost a 500 page book and you wouldn't even think about it just looking at it but I'm so so happy to have this in my hands and I cannot wait to read it. The second Isabel Allende book I have here is Inez of My Soul. This book follows a woman named Inez Suarez who's living in 16th century Spain and her husband ends up going missing and during the time that her husband goes missing she meets a conquistador who becomes the first governor of Chile. Their love story kind of transcends timelines and lifetimes and I'm just so 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 interested in finding out what happens in this book but this book sounds just so interesting it sounds like such a treat and I can't wait to get into this one as well I will say yeah the, the pages are a bit thicker in this one but not by much and I think this is yeah this is just over 400 pages and again like the cover is just very very pretty and the spines are so pretty and you put them together and they match so I cannot wait to get the rest of her books um, because they have beautiful covers and I just want them all in these editions and for reference these are the Harper Via editions I will put like the name down here so you guys can like look for them if you want to look for these specific editions but I love them and you can actually find these I think on the HarperCollins website. I will link that down below just in case if you guys are interested in looking for these particular editions because I know some of the older editions of her books are just like very generic and they're not the most aesthetically beautifully pleasing um but nevertheless I am just so excited to hop into 
both of these books be. Last book I have here to show you guys is my most recent purchase. Uh, my dad took me shopping yesterday to spend the rest of my birthday money and along with a bunch of clothes that I got, I also got a book, um, one book from Barnes & Nobles, which is surprising because I easily could have walked out with like five, but I got one and I got a very popular one that I've seen all over book talk and booktube and that is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. This is a believe a retelling of Beauty and the Beast, which is so exciting. I love Beauty and the Beast. Belle is my favorite Disney princess, so I love that aspect of it. But more importantly, um, this book, I believe, has disability rep. The main character has cerebral palsy, um, which is so interesting. One of my dear family friends who passed away a long time ago, she had cerebral palsy. She is kind of like my driving force to become a special education teacher. So I'm really excited to kind of hop into this and see one, just how good the rep is and also just how good the story is. I heard it's amazing. And it, this is a series, I believe it's a trilogy. The last book, A Vow So Bold and Deadly, is already out, I think. So I am way behind, but that's normal for me. I'm always way behind popular books, but I'm just really excited to hop into this one. So these are all the books I had to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked anything that you saw, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will have all the books linked down below so you can check them out for yourselves. Let me know if there are any books that you recently got or any books that you think I should check out. I love you guys so much and thank you for tuning in each and every week. Mwah. I love you guys so much and have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. Bye!